Mila is a literary scholar. She's working on a project to create a digital edition of the letters of a famous author. She's heard a lot about TextGrid and would like to use this virtual research environment. She registers on the project homepage and then downloads the TextGrid software. Now she can get started. Her analog source material will be transformed into a digital end product. To do this, Miller scans the letters and uploads the files into TextGrid. Now she has numerous options for working with the material. There are various tools to help her. With the XML editor, she can transcribe the letters. The integrated dictionaries enable her to look up terms and to link the entries to her own document. With the text image link editor, she can link the facsimiles of the letters to the transcription. For example, if she clicks on a barely legible part of the letter, she's redirected to the transcription, where she can read what the author wrote at that point, and vice versa. There are a lot of other tools available as well, such as a score editor for preparing music editions. Thus, any humanities scholar can use the tools individually in accordance with their area of specialization. One advantage is that TextGrid is designed to allow users to integrate their own tools into it. Concerning the management of Mila's materials in TextGrid, there are various options. Mila can assign permissions to other people, for example writing permissions to collaborators on the project or reading permissions to other scholars. Another especially interesting option for Mila is that with the aid of the Text Grid Repository, a digital research data center for the humanities, she can archive and publish her work. Then anyone can read and cite her edited version, and she can link it to other portals, digital archives, or databases worldwide. Mila is very pleased because TextGrid offers her many advantages. The various tools make her academic work easier, and in addition, she can link her work to that of other scholars. This, in turn, may give rise to new questions, prompting completely new topics for research.